let's talk about decorating for the winter months. So this is the time of year when we start to see more of the evergreens, to see the layering shift from um, loose knit fabrics to things that are more dense, faux furs, and even cottons. Yes, it's going to be fun. So let's get into it. When you're decorating, you always want to consider your home's style. What is the feel of your home throughout the year that you want to express? So farmhouse, you're going to see more of like buffalo plaids. If your home is more on the modern luxe side, then you would see the faux furs. Another thing to consider is the different types of pine. There's all types of evergreen to choose from. Another element you may want to try is mixing the pines. Uh, I'll show you guys some arrangements that I made this year that use types of pine, even pine cones, using the sphere ornaments in a different way besides just throwing them on your tree, putting them in a bowl, making a bowl arrangement. It's a creative way of using those faux snow inside of a hurricane jar and then you stick a cooler candle in there. It's just so nice and, and inviting. So let's talk about scent. I really like the Forever Mood candle collection because they make it easy to transition from one season to the next using scent. And when you purchase the collection, you can put a fragrance in different areas of your home and they smell amazing by themselves, but they also layer really well. So as you're moving throughout your home and you're experiencing the different candles, it's really nice. So Forever Mood has this Forget Me Not, Forget Me Not. This is their collection from last year. The collection they have this year is just as awesome. So that's one way with candles, scent. Another way to incorporate scent into your home decor is through your hand soaps. So I change out the hand soaps. I change out the soaps in the bathrooms throughout the year. So right now we have Iowa pine in there. So as we're washing our hands, you get this nice fresh scent of Iowa pine, nice crisp woodsy scent. And then later on, we'll switch that out with a snowdrop. So changing the soaps is a great way of incorporating scent into your home's decor for winter. All right, now let's talk about texture. Let's talk about texture. So we're still considering texture when we're decorating for winter. And the texture is going to shift from the fall to the winter season. Fall is more of loose knits. Things are a little bit more breathable and layerable. And then once we move to winter, the it's going to become more dense because the idea is that you're wanting to keep warm. So there's faux furs, um, cashmere, fabrics of that. So we need to take a minute and just appreciate this. Y'all, this is so soft. It's very uh, winter at the chalet. <laughs> And not only is it a luxe throw, this is actually a heated blanket, a heated blanket. So I was so excited when I saw this at the store, I just had to get it. It's very nice. Now we have high ceilings and so throw blankets are in abundance at my home. So I also have this. This is 100% uh, cotton and it is plaid. I like this. It has so many of the colors that we associate with this time of the year. The reds, the greens, the blues, even some white accent color. The tassels are very reminiscent of a scarf. So again, when I'm decorating my home for winter, I'm thinking about what are the types of outfits and clothing that that I would normally see during this time of the year. 
I'm going to see the fur coats. I'm going to see the cotton scarves with the fray, the cashmere shirts and cardigans. So I'm going to have that the pillows have cashmere. Even things like corduroy and leather. So I I like this because it's very it's very reminiscent of a scarf. It's very hot cocoa and marshmallows. Yeah, I like this. And now let's talk about foliage. Foliage, foliage. So I like to incorporate these into my arrangements that I have throughout my home. I have some on the banquette, on the dining room table, the council, the hallway table, entry table. It's a great way to add some greenery and festivity without going overboard. And let me tell you all this. I transition slowly from fall to winter by replacing some of the stems that I have in my arrangements with winter themed stems. That's a great way to have a gentle transition from one season to another. Also, I pair fragrances such as having a tea-sized candle of a fall scent alongside a 12-ounce candle of a winter scent. By the time that tea light burns through, I can replace the 12-ounce candle with that same winter scent. So my family really likes this because it kind of gives them that sense of Winter is on the way. They slowly start to see the changes in the home and they slowly start to notice the scents are changing. It's very, very nice and fun. That's one idea. I found these at Target. I like these because it has the little blueberries and some small pine cones and it's frosted. It's frosted without looking like that snow spray paint stuff. Faux birch branches. I got these at Crate and Barrel. They came in a bundle of four, I believe. And I add these in my arrangements on the banquette, um, in the master bedroom, the, um, the floor basket where I keep some extra throw blankets. It's really, um, it's a really subtle way to fill in the foliage. It kind of breaks up all that green and brown. It also works year round, so I can use this throughout the year. It's really good to have items in your home that remain there throughout the year. Keeps everything grounded and on theme. Here's another Target find. These came in a package of four, and I like these because they're so, these are really versatile, y'all. Like, I use these as toppers for my packages. I use them with my dining room arrangement. I use them in my filler bowl. I use them as fillers for my bowl arrangement. I even tuck some of these into the tree as filler. This also adds a continuity to my home. And I purchased a couple things in the hearth and hand collection that feature these winter berries and evergreens when the wreath and the garland and these little arrangements all match and you see that as you're moving throughout the home, it really helps it all look put together and thoughtful. When I think of winter, I think of spending the day out skiing and then coming in and warming up by the fireplace with a cup of cocoa and those little mini marshmallows and mint candy cane. So creating that ambiance of the flickering light is really important when I'm styling my home for winter. One way I do that is through the fireplace. Now I live in Texas, so we can't always have the fireplace on, but I found these candles and they have this gentle 
for the Korean effect and it creates this really cozy, relaxed ambiance in the home. These are battery operated and they feature a black wick. So during the day when they're off, they look like little candles. The outside coating is wax. So if you pick it up and touch it, it has the feel of a candle, the feel and weight of a candle. They're unscented, so they don't interfere with my actual scented candles. I hope this inspires you to decorate your home in a warm, yet cool way. Enjoy your winter and I'll see you in the next video.